Hi, I'm Neil Black. I'm one of the consultant diabetes physicians in the Western Trust based now in the Galvin Hospital. There are three uh, of us in this trust. We have about 70,000 people with diabetes throughout Northern Ireland and about 14,000 people with diabetes in total throughout the Western Trust. Um, the majority of the people with diabetes have type 2 diabetes, about 90% of them and about 10% have type 1 diabetes and they're very different conditions. Um, while type 2 diabetes comes on in later life or adulthood, although there are some children with it, um, it's not a condition that is all the fault of the person with diabetes. Um, it's very heavily inherited and the majority of people with type 2 diabetes have a strong family history, although it can happen outside that. Um, well, we use lifestyle measures to help control their diabetes, to help people control their weight, their blood pressure and also to control their blood sugars. They still have to take quite a few medications, probably a mixture of multiple tablets and also injections. People with diabetes, um, particularly type 2, have at least twice the heart disease and vascular risk of other uh, people of the same age and, and weight and so on. And that could be anything from developing angina to heart attacks, stroke, stroke-like episodes or problems with the arteries of the legs. This is a very significant burden, but we can reduce that risk very substantially. Um, we can uh, give medications which can take the risk down to about half that of their previous risk. Concentrating on smoking reduction is an extremely important thing for people with type 2 diabetes. In contrast, about 1 in 10 people with diabetes have type 1 diabetes. Now this usually comes on at a much younger age, so people live with type 1 diabetes for a much longer time, but automatically they require uh, they have a require much more injections because it's insulin that actually keeps them alive. It's a very different, different condition. At every meal they should be checking their blood sugar and given an injection so that while the rest of us just eat and drink as we do and snack here and there and the upper body processes work automatically, every person with type 1 diabetes is conscious of the fact they have diabetes at every single time they eat. And they know if they get it wrong they could suffer a low blood sugar or a high blood sugar and feel awful for the rest of the day. This is quite a considerable burden and a reminder of what disease they have. You can see you would expect people with diabetes to require quite considerable support and I'd like to say that we do give that although the traditional clinic model is very much focused on the process of healthcare delivery and, and I have to say I think rather less on the focus on the person. Modern diabetes services are really really trying to change that focus and what we're very keen to do is try and improve the degree of support that people with diabetes can offer each other. Their experiences in dealing with their own condition are invaluable lessons for other people with diabetes and we feel that the level of support, despite what all that we do, is simply inadequate for people with diabetes. We can provide considerable input whenever someone's preparing for a pregnancy, if we know they're preparing for a pregnancy, and whenever they do get pregnant, very intensive review. We may see them every two weeks and maybe in phone contact up to two or three times a week to support them through that pregnancy and the preparation for it. People who aren't pregnant or planning a pregnancy, it's very hard for us to devote that level of uh, attention to them. And we need, to do, we need to do more and we feel that we can invoke the, the resources that other people have in terms of social media and their own experiences and, and time to try and help each other. There are excellent examples of that, like tweet chats on the Our, Di Our Diabetes website from things that Diabetes UK are doing. An example is the, the tweet chats that are held by the Our Diabetes website on, at 8 to 9 p.m. every Tuesday. And if you um, Google the Our Diabetes website, or if you look for at R Diabetes or at RD on Twitter, you will find those groups. There's Diabetes Family on Facebook, and there's also the Northern Ireland Insulin Pumps and Wannabes group on Facebook. Um, there's lots of things, but the more, pe more people with diabetes talk together, the more they can tell us about where things can go better, the more they can feed back to us about where things go wrong, and the more that they can help support each other and support us to support them. We clearly offer support to people with diabetes in the clinics, but really there we're focusing on trying to solve problems for them. And it is really quite difficult in 10 or 15 minutes to, to get involved with the support that people really need. Now I'm talking about focusing on people who are sitting right beside me who have active problems, but really every person with diabetes needs support. Every person living with a chronic condition of course lives with support. What, what we're trying to do is to actively set up a group, a peer support group and a feedback group to the healthcare professionals from people with diabetes, particularly with type 1 diabetes. Um, within the Western Trust, um, starting in, in Derry where, where we work, um, and we would ask people with diabetes, particularly with type 1 diabetes, to get in touch with us. Um, you can contact either through your, your healthcare professional, whether it's the doctor or nurse or dietitian at, the, at any of our clinics, the community diabetes nurses or dietitians, 
um, you can get in touch through the hospital through the, the, um, the hospital switchboard to get through to the diabetes network office and then we can we can get fed back to you we're going to put some details up at the end of this about various contact details that you can use to contact us either through phone whether it's by email or even through uh, potentially through Facebook or Twitter